Hello, Calispera. Welcome to the beautiful island of Santorini. I'm here with Plato the donkey. And on today's show, we're going to be searing lamb on top of an extinct volcano. I'm going to be Skyping with my buddy Jean-Christophe Novelli about what his opinion is on French figs. And me and Plato, we're going to go search for some herbs. Okay, and joining me today is George, the head chef from the Sun Rocks Hotel here in the beautiful island of Santorini. Yes, Christina. Yes, Gala. Thank you very much for spending the time here to explain about this beautiful product from Santorini. Okay. Over to you, George. Go right ahead. So, Christina, we have, I think, the three most famous products of the island are the cherry tomatoes, Santorini cherry tomatoes, mm -hmm. the fava beans, the capers, and the caper leaves. Let's have a look at these caper leaves. I have my special. They very. They look very delicate. Yes. And do these grow on the slopes here? Or? Yes, of course. We use the leaves, mm -hmm. we marinate them with vinegar and salt. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to make a Santorini salad with these beautiful products that are grown here on the island. It's going to be a little bit of a challenge in the wind because otherwise stuff is going to blow away. So George has very kindly suggested that we're going to chop up these tomatoes in half. Okay, I'll chop you put in. <laughs> this is this is teamwork. We love teamwork. And this is great, seeing as I only just met George today. And he's been very helpful. And very knowledgeable. I've learned very uh, so much today. Okay. And this is a lovely dressing that George made earlier. Olive oil, balsamic vinegar, and honey from Santorini as well. So we're going to do a little bit of that on there and then we're going to mix it up. We can also add some fresh olive oil. Some extra olive oil. We always like extra olive oil. It's very good for you. We can also add some salt and pepper. A bit of salt and pepper. Okay, got a plate here. Let's go. This is a real simple salad. It's beautiful caper leaves. Okay. You can put them as it, as, a, as it is, or you can chop it. Okay. And we're going to take some halloumi here as well, which we're going to fry up. Halloumi. Hard, very hard cheese, fries beautifully. Great for breakfast as well. I got my trusty little olive oil bottle here, which comes everywhere with me. Because you never know where you're going to be cooking. Thankfully, we can cook with gas. There are problems sometimes on this, on the, in the Greek islands. We have a lot of ele electricity problems, so yes, of, course of course then you get stuff. So these are, a, a, I'm these sure, a they're absolutely problem. a solution. They're brilliant, and of course, all chefs love to cook with gas anyway, don't yes, they? Yes, of course. It's more yeah. quick. Exactly, it's quick. It's it's controllable. Wonderful croutons that have been roasted. Should we do circles? What do you think? Actually, they look quite okay. nice like that, huh? Yes. Look, little towers of um, little towers of bread, and we've just seared this beautiful halloumi and a little bit of olive oil, and now I'm going to put it on this beautiful-looking salad. This man's a perfectionist, I can see. I'm trying, Christina. Well, you're doing a fantastic job. That looks absolutely amazing. I love these little tower croutons. Now, here comes the taste test. I got my little fork here. We can, we can share this. I got my little fork, and you can have the spoon. Okay. So, actually, then we're gonna need the big, oh, and my little knife here. Let's do a little taste test here. That might, oh, you see, knife sharp. Mm. That is absolutely divine. 
You've got the sweetness from the cherry tomatoes, the saltiness from the halloumi and the caper leaves, and now with a wonderful honey dressing. Yes. Okay. Your turn. Archway, man, it's difficult. And the capers, it's absolutely, it's delicious, and it's just fresh, and you got because you've got the warm with the halloumi in there. That's our Santorini salad. Simple fresh. Thank you. It's wonderful. I can't wait to get on to the next course. Sunrocks Hotel with the lovely chef George and as you can probably hear that there is a wedding going on in the background and it's all with some beautiful music and we're now going to cook some lamb fillet with some herbs that are grown here on the island, some oregano and thyme, a bit of garlic with some Vinsanto sauce, with some potato, uh, baby new country potatoes and a little courgette salad. Because it's windy, we'd normally chop the herbs up, but because it's windy, they're going to blow away. So we're just going to throw them straight in the pan hole. In the meantime, chop up some potatoes. Let's just clean this knife. Oh, my potato's running away. It's trying to get into the volcano. Okay, we're just going to fry everything up all in one pan. Easy food, one pan food. Lovely garlic brown in there. I think it's ready to go for the lamb. Yes, it's Shall we lamb. just slap that lamb in? There we go. Listen to that sizzle. Sizzle. Get a bit of herbs. Bit of thyme. Look at that. Absolutely fine. And we've just made here very, very simple courgette salad. Got a little bit of olive oil. It's got a little bit of chili in it. A bit of salt. Pepper, fat, and we've got some pine nuts that we toasted earlier. Just mix that around. A little bit of white wine vinegar. And it kind of cooks, cooks the courgette, so they're raw and they're still crunchy, and they keep all their goodness in them. Okay, cutting up that beautifully cooked lamb fillet. You can smell those lovely herb flavors. And then we're going to throw the potatoes on. I'm going to, as we're making this really quick. There we go. Okay. I'll, I'll addition at the end. <laughs> These potatoes and there's lovely garlic in there. And you've got all the lovely juices from the lamb. It smells so good. Even with this wind and it's blowing all the smells away, you can still smell it. Look at that. That Sorry. looks divine. And we're going to do some more lines. Should we do some lines? Let's go lines. A few extra pine nuts on there. And this is the, the Vinsanto sauce here. So, Christina. In and, and that means it's ready? Yes. Okay, let's see. Let's go. Just looks divine. Right, where's my special, my trusty little pocket tool? Let's try. Wow, that sauce is absolutely amazing. Mm. Oh, cameraman, you're not going to be happy you've missed this. Mm. That's absolutely wonderful, George. Mm. See ya. <laughs> I was indulging in this superb banquet at the Arizona Spa Hotel 
when I was surprised by my fellow chef, Maria Loy. <laughs> she tried to steal my piece of pie. So, to burn off brunch, she took me for a bit of shopping a la donkey. Shopping on the donkey, yeah, yeah. Here we are, pocket chef's going shopping on a donkey. Ow! Ow! <laughs> okay, pocket chef doesn't need that leg. <laughs> Not anymore. Not anymore. <laughs> Beautiful island of Santorini. And this is how everything was transported in the old days by donkey. Lovely Alex here helped me to make this beautiful Vinsanto and prickly pear coulis. Alex, taste it, see what you think. Pretty. Yep. It's absolutely astonishing. It's good, isn't it? I always say this is actually make a good breakfast. That'll wake you up in the morning. Taste it. Have a swig. That's the way to do it. So good. Isn't that good? So good. Thank you so much for your help. You're welcome. And especially for handling the prickly pears, because believe you me, they are very prickly. Oh, still dangerous. <laughs> still... <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay.